Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Shape Geek. So this past weekend was Emerald City Comic Con. Some of you Seattle natives may have gone. You may have seen Leonard Nimoy. I didn't. I was very close to him, but there were a lot of people in the way. I think I saw his hair. Luckily, that's not the reason I went. The reason I went was, I would say about 50% to find new artists, new writers, new books that I want to get into, and 50% just to meet Kate Beaton. She writes one of the funniest webcomics ever, harkavagrant.com. I will put the link in the sidebar. You need to check this out. She's great at writing history jokes and literature jokes, but she's really good at making you feel like you're part of the joke, even when you have no idea what she's talking about, which is me most of the time. I did not own her book, so that is what I bought um, with a very nice note that does not say anything dirty. I also um, had the distinct pleasure to meet um, Chief Galen Tyrrell from Battlestar Galactica. I told him I was really excited to meet him because um, we have just finished watching the Battlestar Galactica series. But then he asked us what we thought and we told him, which ended up being a trick question because then when we asked him what he thought, he really liked it. So, but I told him, I think you all can agree, hands in the water, when he turns he looks at Tori, oh my gosh, that look on his face, I told him that was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. He said he got that a lot. We also saw Lou Ferrigno, um, who, I may be misinterpreting, but I kind of doubt he'll ever watch this video, so that's okay. He did not want to be there. The Hulk was an incredible show, and, um, you know, he was in Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Arnold got to be this huge megastar that people pooped their pants about. Although, Arnold Schwarzenegger can probably defend himself. Maybe that's why Lou Ferrigno didn't have a bodyguard. Who's gonna fuck with Lou Ferrigno? I'm hoping that he was just kind of feeling jet-laggy or something from, from his trip to Seattle. I also saw the booth where Stan Lee was supposed to be sitting, um, and the next day when I looked for him, it was occupied by the producer of the Superman 1, 2, and 3 movies, about whom no one appeared to care. I met a totally incredible husband and wife couple that draw a comic called The Unique. There's something extraordinarily cool about a husband and wife team who actively work together on every frame of their project. They, they did all the, the drawing, the inking, and the, the coloring, and the writing, every single frame had pieces of each of them. It wasn't it wasn't like a Frank Miller, Lynn Varley kind of situation where, where one's drawing the other's coloring. It was actually shared duties throughout. And I find that totally incredible. It's for real. That's amazing. I have not read their comic, but um, the art was really, really nice. I will also add their link to the sidebar so you can check them out. So that was Comic-Con. I think one of the most magical things about Comic-Con is that everybody there knows that Everyone else there is a nerd, or is there with a nerd, or is being kidnapped by a nerd, or is trying really hard to impress a nerd. I don't know. Why would you do that? I wish I wish Comic Con was every day. Nerd conventions are seriously one of the most amazing. I just totally burped. We're cutting that. This is my first show, so I don't know what's going to be regular or what's not. I do want to tell you guys um, what video game I'm playing right now. I just recently kicked my World of Warcraft habit for the probably eighth time since it launched. Um, so right now I am currently slogging my way through Mass Effect 2. This game is incredible. The writing is unbelievable. It's Bioware, so we all probably want to have their babies. I totally suck at um, combat. And that's always been something that I've really, really hated. I feel kind of like two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. I chose EverQuest and everybody else chose Counter-Strike. So the Twitch gaming doesn't really work for me, but I'm so good at MMOs. Unfortunately, I have a really addictive personality, so... But anyway, uh, Mass Effect 2 has been amazing. I am tr currently trying to sleep with Miranda and Jason and Jack. So that's my Chic Geek show. I'd even like to do some giveaways for, for folks that leave me comments. So get in the habit. Start doing it. Subscribe now. Before everybody else does. You could say you were the cool kid on the block uh, who subscribed before anybody else knew the Chic Geek show. But that might be because no one else ever does. Thank you very much. Uh, this happy March 16th of 2010. I'm signing off.